The issue we met on ground in Nigeria has been that we have had a country where we praise our leaders as if they are not our servants. We believe it is the role of the citizens, the responsibility of the citizens to guide and inform the leaders. And so, the implicit attempt of President Nugu to make us look like we are misguided, we are uninformed, we are sponsored, and that's why we are protesting, shows again that our president is out of touch. Given Tinubu's gargantuan history of corruption and self-enrichment through public wealth, he is the one who needs a lecture and probably a mental rehabilitation. He is so corrupt that he has reduced the trust of Nigerians in the government just by emerging as president. We cannot look out there. Across countries in Africa, people are taking polls of how much people have, have trust in their government. And Nigeria today is lowest on those polls. Because just by imagine alone, through a very corrupt electoral process, Tinubu has reduced the confidence of the people, the trust of the people in their governance. And a country where people don't trust in the governance of the day is a country that will especially be unstable. Because if the government is not responsible to the people, the people don't owe anything to the government, and they don't owe the government to respect any law and order. And that is, a, that is writing letter to chaos. And that is why we are saying we are the peaceful ones in this protest. We are the ones trying to ensure that Nigeria does not descend into chaos because of the poverty, the instability, the alienation that we see every day on our streets. We must state clearly that this broadcast only makes it clearer that Tinubu is a dictator and not a democrat. The broadcast only exposes Tinubu for who he is, a megalomaniac and unprincipled dictator who wants to use force and coercion to consolidate his power. We therefore call on all Nigerians to come out in large numbers to continue this protest on Monday until our demands are met. By now we would notice that the Tinubu government has gone to the press to tell the press Stop capturing this protest with the hope that they can kill us all in silence. Yesterday, before we started the protest, we were tear gassed at the National Stadium. The cronies of the Tinubu government had gone online to say that protest is not holding today, that the youth are afraid, they can no longer protest again. But when that protest gathered, the, gathered momentum, they tear gassed us and dispersed us. So, this is to show that this government is only trying to use force and propaganda to stop us from actually organizing ourselves as Nigerians to demand for a better country. It is not too much to ask. The two-pronged approach of violence and propaganda has failed. The violence and repressions are just attempts to silence and control us, and the propaganda cannot sway or fool us. The struggle for a new and better Nigeria continues. We must not be tired. The future of Nigerians depend on our determination at this moment. And we use this opportunity to call on the people of Nigeria, especially those living in the city, to make their best efforts to participate in the protests as from tomorrow. We appreciate the fact that many Nigerians have trooped out to say that our demands are legitimate. This is the reality on the streets. And we must also point out that Asking Nigerians to not protest, when that same government asking us not, not to protest, presently I got here late because there, is, there, there, are, there are four queues on the streets right now. So a government that is asking us not to protest, but is making four cars and making it very expensive. And the government would come on here and not touch on those issues and tell us that the four subsidy removal is still working. We want to ask, is it work, who is he working for? Is it the corrupt politicians who have built refineries in Malta? Who is the first of the people working for? Is he working for the Nigerian masses? This is what we want to ask the Nigerian government. And this is what we are saying. That please Nigerians do not be swayed by the fact that they have tried to keep you at home with the first scarcity. By the fact that they have tried to keep you at home, please come out tomorrow and protest. One thing we want to make clear is this. The court order to stop us 
from protesting anywhere we want, especially at the seat of power, which is the National Assembly and the 3M zone. That court order is not constitutional because Nigerians reserve their right to move on public roads. Public roads are built with public money. Nigerians reserve their rights to freedom of movement, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and freedom of uh, dissent. We should not have to beg the government before we assert our freedom of assembly. And so we would like to tell this government that the only way we can dialogue is what we are doing right now. We are doing this now to tell the government that this is our dialogue. We are telling the government that our demands still stand. Reversal of oil price to what it was before May 29, 2023. Reversal of uh, electricity hike, tariff hike. Reversal of school fees increments across board. Reversal of all of the taxes that the tax master himself, Sinubu, has introduced. These are our demands, and we are not reneging on these demands. Even though Tinubu has tried to tell us that the protests are stopped, Nigerians are tired, presently, today, Sunday, this morning, protests continued in just play two states with protesters organizing their own Sunday service at the, at the protest. Even in Lagos, the same thing happened today. On Friday, we had protesters who did their Juma service at the protest ground. And so we are saying that Nigerians are fully, fully in support. And this is not the time to be afraid. This is not the time, to, time for us to go to our rooms and start praying that God will save us. God needs us to save ourselves. This is not the time to start saying, Shall we God save us from Abacha now? God will save us from this one. To know this is not a military regime. And we must assert the fact that we are in a civilian democracy and we must be treated constitutionally as citizens of Nigeria. On this basis, we want to charge Nigerians that we must continue to organize, resist, and build till we have a country that prioritizes the people of Nigeria over the profit and power of a few people. The struggle continues. Bata bata, bata bata, bata box.